Valenter shudders. The windows in his second story office overlooking the lodge's tranquil gardens and seats himself behind his writing desk. He nods and introduces a thin, aging Gurundi man in an ornately bejeweled and feathered turban. This is Imodius, the Sapphire Sage. I trust most of you know him already. If you don't, know that he has served both the Ruby Prince and the Pathfinders for many years, uncovering vast troves of lore from ancient Osirian and mentoring some of our finest agents. He recently approached my colleagues and me with a request for assistance, and this society has agreed to step up to aid its ally. The arrangement is, in fact, rather a mutual beneficial. He nods to Amenifus, signaling for the older man to speak. Faithful servants of the past, I bid you greetings. The wise and sage says with a shallow bow. Our esteemed ruler, the Ruby Prince, recently released me from his service, which has freed me to learn more about the little-known organization to which I belong, the Jeweled Sages, protectors of Orsirian's history and chroniclers of its past glories. Quite by accident, I found myself initiated into this group, and having long believed myself to be its sole surviving member. Each sage in the group possesses a unique jewel, a priceless artifact that contains memories of Osirian's golden age. He pauses, as if considering how to express his thoughts. For many years I have sought news of any other members of the jeweled sages. My agents recently learned of the Diamond Sage, who they traced to the city of Eto in the Osirian Desert. At the same time, I received word from a reliable source that several other jewels in the vicinity. I asked that you travel to Eto, negotiate with my contact in the city for assistance, and then use what you have learned to find the Diamond Sage and those lost jewels. Venture Captain Belenter frowns and adds, this contact has tried to remain anonymous, but we suspect he is none other than Grandmaster Torch. If you've heard of him, or worse, met him, you may know trading favors is his signature. Regardless of Torch's past treacheries, we need you to deal with him fairly for this information. There is a caravan leaving for Eto in a few hours, so don't delay. You have been listening to a small snippet of an up-and-coming series for Rollmonger's actual play podcast. The Man from Osirian highlights Pathfinder society in a Destiny of Sands adventure, three parts, which will be dealing with adventurers who work for the society as opposed to being Pathfinder society members directly associated themselves. We hope to find you listening. Email us at rollmongers at gmail.com. Find us on soundcloud.com, spreaker.com, and YouTube.